Hey everyone, it's Matt here, the Toku Dragon. And today I'm going to be talking about the Spider-Man Tokusatsu suit. And no, it's not the one you're thinking of. So let's actually get to this story right now. So Spider-Man 2 is coming out for the PS5, and if you haven't played the game on the PS4, I would highly recommend it. Haven't tried the PS5 version, haven't played the Miles Morales game just yet. I do have it though because I recently did get a PS5, although shh, it's, I didn't talk about it yet on our Those Guys Play and our tutorial level channels, so shh, don't tell them there. And if you're from there, forget about it when, until you see it. We talk about it over there. But Spider-Man 2 is coming out PS5 exclusive, at least for now, and there's actually a, you know, different pre-order bonus suits and whatnot. I don't really care about any of that, although the game is coming out on October 20th of this year, and I do care about that. And this ended up taking Twitter by storm. Apparently, there is a tokusatsu suit that is shown off here for the Digital Deluxe Edition, which, hate that term, not tokusatsu suit, Digital Deluxe Edition, not the video for that, but ha, Digital and Deluxe? Wow, two things that I, I, I care about Deluxe Editions, but when you make them digital, don't care. But, uh, either way though, if you end up getting the Digital Deluxe Edition that I don't have the price in front of me, but I'm gonna assume it is a lot of money, well, you can actually get this quote-unquote tokusatsu suit. Now, yes, it is not the 70s Spider-Man suit, you know, the Japanese Toei Spider-Man suit, but here's the thing, I do understand why they didn't go with it because you'd have to end up getting the rights from Toei and whatnot. And looking at these other suits, I'm under the impression, and I don't read a lot of Spider-Man stuff, so correct me if I'm wrong down below, but I'm under the impression that these other suits that we can see here, these 10 unique suits for Peter and Miles, are all brand new suits. They might be inspired by stuff we've seen in, let's say, comics or animated shows and whatnot, but they are not directly taken from those mediums. So having this tokusatsu suit, obviously everyone was like, oh, Matt, you know, wow, that's so cool. Some people liked it, some people didn't. Personally, I think that it is definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, called tokusatsu suit. And <laughs> look, I don't hate it, I just feel like, and it's not, you know, looking at the 70s version that I do really enjoy, the Japanese 70s version that I really enjoy, and going, oh, I want that instead. Look, again, I get why they didn't go with it. But the thing is, though, is that when you call something, you know, quote-unquote tokusatsu, and look, this isn't what the author or the creator of the suit, I'm sure, intended, but when you call something tokusatsu, it evokes so many thoughts and feelings on, you know, what tokusatsu is, especially in the henshin hero genre, and, you know, you think of Super Sentai, you think of Kamen Rider, you think of, um, you know, Inazu Man, you think of, uh, I mean, maybe, I don't know about you, but I think of Robot Detective K, I think of uh, Kakaida, I think of all these different, you know, uh, different toku suits and whatnot, uh, all the different generations, I mean, it's just, you know, the different iterations, the different versions, depending on who's making the film and what year it is and if it's a reboot and all this stuff that when I look at this suit, I think, what is this? Like, I'm not saying it's a bad suit. If I saw it in live action, I'm sure I'd love it, but I just don't understand what it's trying to do. Is it trying to be Power Rangers-esque? I mean, my first thought is, are they doing, like, Hokkaido? Um, you know, obviously, like, are they doing, like, an Aubrey Killer kind of thing? Like, I just feel like it is a suit that, if it was not called Tokusatsu suit or something, it would just, you know, it would kind of stick out to you, maybe. Um, maybe if the shoulders were a bit longer, you would think, okay, clearly they're going for Power Rangers, that's fine. But they're not trying to, you know, they could have called it the powerful suit, and you would go, okay, I see what you're doing. But when you just call it the genre... It's just going to get people's minds running and thinking like, you know, would this look good in live action? And to be fair, we haven't seen the full suit yet, so I don't know if it'll look good both in the game and, you know, if I can think of it in a live action form or whatnot. But really, you know, when you look at a, in my opinion, a, like, let's say, oh, we're going to take an old suit like the Spider-Man suit, even though this is a newer design in this game, of course. But still, it does make me think of a traditional Spider-Man suit, if you will, if there's even such a thing. I'm sure some suit connoisseurs out there are like, but what do you mean by that? But my, my point is, is that when you think of the normal Spider-Man suit, right? In the various iterations that it's had. Um, if it were going to get like a tokusatsu version of it, it would probably end up looking like something more Iron Man-esque, funnily enough, which we've seen enough of those both in Spider-Man lore and, you know, of course, the MCU version with, um, I mean, obviously Iron Spider was a thing from the comics, but like, still, you know, you, you could see how maybe they wouldn't want to go that route, and that's why the toku version or tokusatsu suit looks like this, but it's just something that 
you know, it might seem nitpicky to me. Uh, it was just really funny seeing people love it or hate it online. Sometimes see one right after another. I'm not going to have the tweets up because I don't want to call anyone out in particular. It's just really funny to see someone go, this is awful, next to this suit is fire. So it's just. So it was just so funny to see. And I do want to say, though, overall, though, regardless of what you think about this suit, it is really cool to see just the name of the genre actually be just kind of put on display here for this suit. Um, I do feel like tokusatsu is something that is becoming more well-known in the U.S., and I think that is fantastic. I want more people to be watching this stuff. I want more people to be talking about this stuff, to be letting people know, hey, you know, you should definitely check out this show, that show, whatnot. Uh, hopefully we have more, you know, legal streams of things like Common Rider and Ultraman and Super Sentai, you know, whether or not they're on DVD or Blu-ray or not, I would hope that they are for obvious reasons, but still, in general, though, I want more people to be able to watch this stuff, and it is fantastic that we are getting, you know, things like this, more dubbed Ultraman, uh, the Ultraman anime, again, you know, Kamen Rider and Super Sentai on DVD, Blu-ray, and streaming, we, and of course a bunch of other heroes as well that we don't have the time to talk about, but still it is fantastic to have that happen. And I hope that this happens more often and we can get little things like this that someone Googles, like looks at this and goes, what is tokusatsu? And then they Google it and then they find out about it for the first time. Absolutely fantastic, regardless of what you think about the suit. Again, I... Uh, um, I do like, you know, obviously I like the black, I, I, I like the red, my two favorite colors, but I just... Uh, I, I'd want to see it in person, i.e. in game, before really coming down hard on it. But like I said earlier, it is a suit named Togusatsu suit. So tell me your thoughts down below though. Do you like this? Do you not like this? You know, did you see anything on Twitter that you found really funny? Any comments about uh, this suit in particular? And also you're going to get the game as well. I definitely will be getting it. I'm going to pre-order that. This is going to be the first $70 game that I ever get, which hurts. But for Spider-Man 2, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So, love y'all. Take care. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe. And I hope you tune in next time. So, I'll see you.